In this video, we're going to talk about a bit later in level two of care, early stages of transform. What's going to be different is that the pressure it will feel like we're using will increase. So you may want to do this at home playfully. If you put your hand on your cheek like this and then turn them in and then roll slightly with your fingers like this, you'll feel with each change, you go slightly further in. And that's what we're doing with our contacts. Other, some other differences, we'll be using two places more consistently. So it might be your neck and tailbone or your upper neck and pelvis or two sides of the neck or two sides of the pelvis. We may put you on your side and there'll be a much larger wave generated and a real sense of inner strength and courage and determination and power. What we want you to do is to focus on the area we're working with and to see if you can start to feel the sense of your body wanting to move or what we call oscillate, either side to side or up and down. There, there'll be a bit more sense of movement or like something inside wants to connect across or up and down itself. So I'll show you how it will work with uh, this example and then we'll show you a couple of variations like putting on the side, like things that we might do when you're in the practice. So in this case, the first contact is, so rather than a level one contact, which is soft and gentle, we're going to let our hand drop slightly deeper into the connective tissue. Here we go. Perfect. And what you won't be able to see, but you'll feel when I'm working with you, there's a slight, like a water wheel uh, rocking motion with the contact hand. And you'll see that the lift has happened quicker and she's actually gone higher. Okay, just keep with that, Ruth. And I'm gonna, second contact will come in here. And what we'll see with this one here, again, going slightly deeper in, there we go. So we have You'll notice there are two points now seem to be active together, her neck and tailbone, and she'll lift them both, and she's actually lifting them both together, rather than just one at a time, as we've had previously. And once she's generated enough lift and enough energy inside her nervous system, She'll relax and we'll get that wave going through her spine. Now, the way her body works is to get energy and information from around it. So she has to lift up into that. Some of you will have just as profound an experience, but you'll move much less. So it's not, the, the goal isn't to make you lift up really high. The goal is how do you have to use your body and nervous system to access energy? And sometimes that energy is in tension that's bound up, like it might be a tight muscle or a spasm or a tight bone. Sometimes it's energy and information around you. So in Ruth's case, the body likes to lift up to find it. So the goal isn't the lift, the goal is finding energy. And you'll know when you have it because you'll feel or sense that wave go through the spine. Okay, Ruth, lie on your right side, please. Wonderful, a leg straight, that way, perfect. So bring your hand up here. So when we put you on your side, a couple of things, we'll, we'll always position you. It's supposed to feel a bit unstable. That's part of the design. We just want your hips one on top of the other, shoulders one on top of the other, and your neck nicely in line with your spine. And you just rest your head on your hand like your temple your hand on your temple like this, and we create a nice straight line. It's really quite straightforward, but it's perfectly normal if you feel like you're going to topple over. We'll then move your arm. And as we get the position right, you'll see that wave will start to go through the spine all the way to the top. We then will use your shoulder just to position things. 
perfect. So aim in here. And then we're going to be putting our hand on either side of his spine. This will feel a bit unusual, a bit new. And then we'll be directing that tension into energy all the way up the spine, in this case up to the upper neck. There. And we're going to bring that in line, just there. Perfect. And this time it's going to go down toward her tailbone. Perfect. That's it. Now, the spine's curving a bit too much here, so that's my job to manage. So we'll just straighten that up a little bit. So I'll just assist Ruth in finding that just there. Perfect. And now we find when we do it, that wave will go all the way down through her pelvis and there find her tailbone much more easily. And then we'll just take a contact on each spot. And we should find now the wave goes through much more easily. Up to the top. Perfect. That's early transform. Level two.